Hey guys, welcome back. So we are going to be going through RPS alignments today. I have this Vershirt example up. You guys also have these examples preloaded when you install Verisurf. So if you want to reference these and ever take a look, you do have those. So inside of here, we have all of our different examples. So we're going to go into automate. And I'm going to show you exactly how these work. And like I said earlier, now that we have fun, um, features here, so these three points are going to be our Z points. I can construct a plane from these points. Of course, we're not aligned, so these points are out in space somewhere. Let's make sure we have this one turned on. Okay. So yeah, we're aligned. But so inside of here, here's our RPS alignment. The way you create this RPS alignment is you select all the points you want to use. And then we collect this little icon right here next to auto align RPS alignment. And it's going to, it's going to throw this alignment in there. This works just as you would expect it to. It's, it's, it's pretty smart. So it's using these three points for Z. It's using these two points for Y and it's using this point for our X. It's locking in that we have the 118 because that's related to our WCS. So that's our probe radius. So we press okay, we, we can see those points are in there. We also have an option of using six surface points. This is basically ideally the same thing, but these are just surface points we took. We can also use that inside of an RPS alignment and we're locking it the same way. The only thing here is that we are zero because a surface point, it puts a probe radius in there. So if we calculate this, we can see we're zero across there. Okay. So we can see our, we were not Z zero on all the points. If any of you guys caught that, we are not zero on these points because they're not actually on that top plane. It does not have to be on that top plane to lock it in. We can use Z anywhere we want on the part. And it's still gonna lock it in the same way, as long as there's three points for Z. We also have a few other options in here. I'm not gonna go through every one. We have top surface points. This is, we did an alignment using the other side of the part. So here we have a one hybrid. So this is just a path of all these points and we just fit right to it. So you can see they're kind of out in space right now. So if I click this and I click calculate, we can move this out the way real quick and you can see that it fit all those points on. It doesn't necessarily have to be all separate. The benefit of it being separate is we can create features from it. So we can also do it by just using, let's do a plane line point. This is a good example. Actually, let me see one more that's a little bit different. Plane axis origin. So here we measured a plane on top. We measured two cylinders on each end and we created a line from those cylinders and then we measured another cylinder for our datum. So inside of here, we use our datum A, we actually, you can actually lock an orientation and you can lock a rotation. So we're locking our orientation axis to our datum A and then we locked our rotation to our line one. And then we're using our cylinder three right here. See, we didn't actually pick, we just picked the Y on these to lock. And then here we're locking our X and our Y and we're using that for our calculation. So we use a plane and a point and we locked it on our rotation. So there really is quite a few options inside of here. As you can see, this is just a few. You can get creative and do your own. But this is a lot cleaner. And like I said, we can use our measurements for features now. So we're not double measuring anything and, like, and it's right there in front of you. So if you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to reach out. I know this is kind of a lot to take in, but I wanted to get this out there and show you guys this new feature that came out in Verisurf 2024. Um, thanks. Have a nice one.